Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking a bit more about how we can use Cout to print things in the C++ programming language. Cout stands for character out. We are outputting characters to our console. So let's just begin by printing something simple. Let's just say that we want to print have a good day. To do this we begin by telling our C++ compiler that we want to print something so we enter Cout. Then we use two insertion operators to tell C++ what information we want printed. We will talk more about the insertion operators in a future video, so do not worry too much about them right now. Then we need to enter the string that we want printed to our output console. And we said that we wanted to print have a good day, so let's just enter that. And although not necessary in this particular example, it is a good habit to end our line using endl. This tells C++ that we are finished with our particular line. Then, when we build and run this program, you can see that we are printed out the line that we wanted. I should also mention that instead of endl, you could add in a line break using backslash n like so. And you can see that the same result is achieved. These two methods have their own benefits. For example, the new line character backslash n can be used to break up two lines in the same string like so. Whereas the endl manipulator flushes the buffer, but that is a topic for a much further video. For now, really either method will work. However, I typically use endl, so that is what you will see more often throughout this course. Now, what if we wanted to print out a variable? Well, let's declare a string variable called anything we want. I'll just call it greeting here. Let's also initialize this variable, which means to give our variable a value. Let's just say the same thing here, have a good day, and make sure that it is between two quotation marks as this tells C++ that we are working with a string data type. Now, we can just replace the previous string with our new variable, and that is all we need to do to print out variables in C++. Just character out your variable and then an end of line statement. As you can see here, when we build and run the program, we receive the exact same output as before, which is what we expected. Lastly, what if we wanted to combine, let's say printing a variable and entering in an explicit string? So, let's do this by asking our user for their name and their age. As we learned in our last video, it is best to have a C outline before our C in, which stands for character in, to formally tell the user what type of information that we want. So, because we want the user's name and age, let's declare the name variable as a string and the age variable as an integer. Again, as we learned in the last video, to accept user input in C++, we type C in and then two greater than signs. So, these are opposite way to what we have been using in our C out statements. Then we enter the variable that we want our user to give us a value for. And there we go, we just declared a variable and then we let our user initialize it. Let's just repeat this process for the age variable now. Now, once we run our program, the user will initialize both these variables. So all we have left to do is print out the results giving these variables and our statements back to the user. So to do this, we can just combine the information we previously learned. We type C out, then two greater than signs, and then our first string, which will say your name is, and then two more greater than signs. Then we insert our variable that our user initialized, which is our name variable. And then we continue this for the user's age as well. Now, when we build this program, you can see that this whole line of strings and user initialized variables were printed together as expected. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope it helped you learn something about how to use C out when printing to the output console in C++. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.